Well, good morning. My name is Terry Miller, and I just stopped by briefly just to remind you to put God first. I know how hard it is to keep God first. I mean, I understand I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a grandma. And with everything going on in the world today, it's kind of hard to stay focused. But the Bible tells us to wake up and pray. And, and that means even when you're tired, you got to get up early in the morning to pray. Put God first. You know, um, if you want to know what God's plan is for your life, you have to spend time with God. And you have to know without a shadow of a doubt that that's where you go for your rest and your comfort and your peace and your guidance and your direction. You know, you have to put God first. You have to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then everything else that you're worrying about and that you're stressing over, you know, you see God first in everything, and he'll take care of the rest. You know, we have so much going on in the world right now. There's a war in Ukraine. The food prices going up, but yet there's less food in the stores. Fuel prices for the cost of um, gasoline to put in your vehicle, oh, that's really, that's, that's going up so high. And it seems like now, in the middle of a pandemic, the world has flipped. And the things that were once wrong, we consider them to be right. When I say we, I mean the world. You know, things of God that God states clearly is wrong. The world has said, yeah, we'll, we'll accept that. And I'm telling you, if you don't get close to God, if you don't get up, pray, Put God first, his word first. You'll find yourself in the middle of a lot of stuff, unnecessary stuff. Like I said, there's distractions. And I know, you know, if you're a mother, if even you don't even have to be a mother these days. There is so much going on. And you, you're trying to make a plan. You're trying to hold things together. And, and we're trying to teach teach our kids what's right and what's not we're trying to teach them against what the schools are now teaching them because they're the schools are going against the word of god so you know i say put god first seek god for every plan that you have everything that you think you want to do you know you you gotta know that god is omnipotent he can go where we can't go. He can do what we can't do. And I mean, he knows what we don't know. So why wouldn't you seek God first? Ask God. We, we, we have all these plans and, and all these things we want to do. But if we don't know what God's plan is for our life, if we don't know our purpose, what? You know, God, Father, why was I created? You, you got to know that. Every person has a part to play. And you don't know what the other person's part is. Sometimes we don't know our part. And so we have to be in tune with God. We have to know that regardless of what's going on in the world, you know, regardless of the chaos, the confusion, we got to know that God has us. And if you, you're you unsure who you are, if you don't know God, it's going to be hard for you. And I'm telling you, I mean, everything I learned, I learned it the hard way. I remember when I was first trying to be saved, but I still wanted to live in the world. I still wanted to party and club and go skating on Saturdays. And Sunday morning, it was, I didn't want to go to church. I was tired. 
you know, so it became like this bitterness. It was hard. And, and I told my grandmother, I said, I don't want to be saved. It, it just requires too much. And she said, that's because it's not in my heart. She told me it wasn't in your heart. And I'm telling you, in Matthew 22 and 37 through 40, you have to love God with all your heart, with all your mind, and all your soul. That it, God's got to be your first love. In God's word, in John 17 and 17, God's word has to be the final authority, the final word. I don't care what anybody else tell you. The word of God is going to stand. And that word has to be in your heart. And before one dot or piddle of God's word, when I say a dot, like the dot on the eye or the piddle, a little loop in, a, in like a cursive writing, before any of that changes, any of God's word changes, heaven and earth will have to pass away. And what I'm telling you is, even if the world says it's right, if God says it's wrong, it's wrong. You know, heaven and earth will have to pass away before God's word change. That's telling you that when you leave this place, you got to stand before God and know him for yourself. All the stuff, these laws and things that's being put in place, they're not going to be standing with you. You got to know God for yourself. So, you know, I try to make the word digestible so that, you know, you can understand what I'm saying. It's like, you know, these little small nuggets that help you put God first. Don't go out here making these plans and, and then messing stuff up and running back to God. And then, oh, Lord, it's easier if you seek God first. Put him first. Wake up early in the morning and pray. Ask God to cover you cover you during the day, your children on the bus, your husband going to work, you going to work, even in the house, you know, but you just doing simple everyday things. You need to be covered because you don't know what kind of plan the enemy is trying to plot against you. And so, you know, it is a wonderful thing to be covered. It's a wonderful thing to have a relationship with God and in all you're getting, get an understanding. Know who God is for yourself. Don't listen to what other people tell you. Get out there and find out. And I'm telling you, you will have a better life experience. You know, God loves his children. He loves us. He has given us so much. He gave us his only begotten son for you. And for me, and can you honestly say you could do that? Could you give your child the life of your child for somebody else, knowing that they may not even love you back? That's how much God loves us. He prepared us. He knit us in our mother's womb. He loved us before we even knew what love was. He loved us before we even took our first breath in this world or even opened our eyes. That's what kind of God we have. It only makes sense to put him first. He cares for you. He cares what you're going through. I'm Terry Miller, and I will see you again next week. Remember, put God first.